to Earwig Behind the Scenes. Uh, tonight I just got done working with a band called Dreamcatcher, and I thought I would give you a quick overview on our setup, some of the equipment we're using, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you a minute clip of a, a rough mix we burned tonight that uh, we did a little bit of a video for. Uh, so let's get started. So Mr. Bruno's bass amp is set up here in the Black Lodge. It's the Earwig house amp. It's a 1966 Ampeg B15N mic'd up with a 421. <laughs> drum set. Sometimes I like to use very few microphones on drums. Kick, snare, couple overheads, maybe a room mic. This ain't one of those times. We have mic'd up this drum set in excess. There's two mics on the snare, two mics on the kick drum, two mics on every tom, overheads, mono room mic, distant stereo room mic. Uh, there's even like a trashy, kind of an AM radio kind of sound that we're using as well. We're, we're covering our bases here. We want a lot of options. This is Ben's guitar setup. He's playing a Gibson Les Paul with many humbuckers through my Marshall 1974 JMP through a 4x12 cab. I'm using two microphones, a, a Shure SM57 and a Royer R121. And this is a really typical way that I start uh, with electric guitars. So this is Raven's AC30. We were having some problems with the tube noise. And so we quickly switched over to my high watt through a two by 12. There's a couple of settings I thought I would show you on the high watt. Uh, we have the, the bright volume cranked to get some preamp gain, scooping a little bit of mids out of it. And uh, one more time at the microphones we're using, the SM57 and the AEA R84. And finally for vocals, we just had Shannon set up in the control room and belted out on an SM58. We did end up moving her out into the live room when we shot the video, which is coming up next. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching Earwig behind the scenes, and let's check out Dreamcatcher. <laughs> 